one Nev here and today I am starting a new uh, deep dive into the wild unknown animal spirit and uh, this is an oracle deck um, and uh, and here's the bag that I made for it um, yes and it matches the bag for the wild unknown tarot uh, th that one I did the same stuff except it's a zebra facing the other way but in, and it's the same s style but <laughs> anyway so Here's the animal spirit uh, oracle, and so and I did write a full list of how I want to do this um, each day. Today I'm going to do an intro to the deck. We're going to go through each card, um, and then I'm going to uh, separate them into piles: my favorite, uh, least favorite, and uh, in the middle, like um, that I like but don't dislike, you know, that sort of thing. Um, but I'm also going to uh, figure out, because uh, the deck has different sections in it, so I'm going to pick out my favorite card from each section. All right, so um, now this deck does come with a nice uh, guidebook here, a really nice guidebook. I have had this deck for many years, so um, this is probably an older version. Um, there might be a newer version that doesn't quite look like this. I don't know, but um, yes, I've had this for years. Sorry about the dog. <laughs> um, she might run in here barking. Um, all right, so let's uh, go ahead and open this book. Now this, our deck. <laughs> now this is the uh, first time I'm doing a deep dive on an Oracle deck. So um, I kind of came up with how I'm gonna do it <laughs> and things like that. So. Um, yeah, so I think I'm starting it. Yeah, I'm just starting it here. Now they separated this. I, I put this, they have them in, t in uh, like sections uh, by the elements. So like earth, water, fire, air, and then spirit. Um, yeah, so that's the, the five sections here. So I think the first one here is earth. We have uh, bear, earthworm and let's let's uh let's see let's do let's pull out all of the earths uh yes all of the earth cards and then i'm going to go through these ones just these ones to see which one i like uh the most uh, we'll do the three piles with just the earth first all right so let's do all right bear earthworm mouse hmm I think I'm gonna put that in the middle. Rabbit, raccoon, fox, I'm gonna put in the favorites. Snake, um, I'm gonna put that in the middle. Buffalo, I really like that one. Uh, lamb, uh, elk, deer, wolf, spider, I really like that one, and horse. I didn't put any in my dislike for this one. Um, I really just, um, I have my top three here. Okay, and before I move on, I wanna pick out which one is my favorite. I think I like the spider, but uh, this is a close second. It would really be between these two. Um, just making sure I'm in frame here. And yeah, I, I think I'm leaning toward the spider. So the spider is my favorite for uh, the earth uh, suit. So now let's do the next one. I believe this is water. Yes, so let me grab all the water ones. Let's see, and to there, okay. So we have crocodile, stingray. I put that in my favorites. Fish, you know, I'm gonna put that in the dislike pile. It's, um, starfish, I'm gonna put that in the dislike too. It's pretty plain. Octopus, I really like. Beaver. Oyster, I like this oyster card. Turtle. Frog. Hmm, I like that one. I like this otter one. Shark, I'm gonna put that in dislike. Swan. Dolphin. And whale. Uh, I almost put the dolphin in this one because I do like the background a lot, but um, yeah, I'm gonna put that here and whale. Let's see, I'm gonna put that there, even though I love humpback whales. All right, so um, we're gonna move the middle card to the side. Let's pick out my least favorite. Um, I think, I think shark. Shark is my least favorite, and I think that's really only because um, I think I. 
I, I would want more with it. You know, I, I, I think I, I would just want a different image for shark. So that's going to be so far my least favorite for that one. Um, otter, I'm going to take out frog. Let's see. Take out stingray. Oh gosh. Um, I think otter is my favorite. I'm going to go with otter on that one. Okay. Now we're on fire. All right. Let me pull out all the fire cards. All right. All right. I love this uh, fire ant one. Hyena. I'm going to put that in dislike. Scorpion. Lizard. I do like that one, but I don't think I like it more than the fire ant. Panther. I think this is kind of more what I would be go looking at for uh, the shark imagery. Something just a little more, little more to it, if that makes sense. Um, yeah. Tarantula. I like that one. Camel. Gazelle. Cheetah. I like this one. Also because the bag that I made for it has a cheetah, so I do like that one. Um, tiger. Cobra. Zebra. I do like the zebra, but I think I'm going to put that there. Lion and elephant. Mm, that one there. So there's only one dislike, so I'm going to keep that one. And I think I, I, I don't know. It, I think I would want more color in this one. So I think that's my issue with that one. And you know, it might be my issue with this one too. There is a little bit of color in this one, but yeah. All right. So let's figure out my favorite on this one. I'm going with the fire ants. I really like this one. This is a really cool card. All right, now air. Let's see, we got all the air cards. Okay, so moth, butterfly, bat, that's pretty cool. I'll put the bat there. Firefly is interesting. Bee, I like the bee card. Hummingbird, of course, I love the hummingbird. I have a hummingbird tattoo. Vulture, crow is nice, but mm, owl is nice, dragonfly, the light just shifted in here. I hope it's uh, still fine on the camera. Dragonfly, nightingale, peacocks, I love peacocks, but I'm going to put that one in the middle. Hawk and eagle. Okay, so no dislikes for this one. Um, let's see. Ooh, this one's tough. I'm going to take out the bat. And it's going to be between these two. Um, you know, I think, oh, this is tough. I think I like the bee more, but this, this is really close, but I'm going to go with the bee. All right. And final category is spirit. So Phoenix, uh, sea serpent, dragon. I do really like that dragon card. Um, golden egg, mm, it's okay. Um, yeah, I'll put that there. Black egg, hmm, unicorn, cosmic egg. I like that one. Okay, so no, none in the dis dislike. Let's see. Who? I think I'm gonna go with the dragon. Okay. All right. So we've got our favorites and least favorites. Uh, I'm going to look at the least favorites right now and decide which one I dislike the most. Um, I'm going to go with the hyena as my least favorite. Okay. So my least favorite card is a hyena and my favorite card. Let's pull all these out. Let's see. All right. Am I in? I'm going to move my dislike card over there. Let's make sure I'm in frame here. Okay. Oh, what is my favorite card in this deck? Let's see. You know what? So I think I'm going to take this one out. Um, then possibly the dragon. I do like the dragon though. And now we're down to these three. I really like these three cards. These are really cool cards. Um, I think I'm going to go with, oh man, <laughs> I 
All right, so let me think about this for a little bit. Let me think about what I like about this. I really like the rainbow aspect to the spider. Um, my, your eyes definitely go to this. Um, both of these cards have a, uh, you know, your eye goes to the center sort of thing. And this one a little bit has that. Uh, you do obviously focus on the otter, but everything else does kind of focus more inward to it. Um, so maybe that's something that uh, really draws my attention in artwork. Um, I think, like I keep kind of going to the otter, but I think my favorite is the spider. I do really like this fire ant though. I, it's a very cool image. I think my favorite is the spider card. <laughs> All right, so we've got a favorite, we've got a least favorite. Okay, so now um, I wanna go through the book and just see what it says about the spider and uh, the Hyena. So first for, let's do the one that I disliked uh, the most. So Hyena. All right. That took me forever to find for some reason. <laughs> All right. So the keywords for this are humor, wit, and sarcasm, um, which are all things that I like. Um, the hyena personality is a jokester and crowd pleaser, but below the surface, there are unfulfilled dreams to be re realized. Uh, when the hyena card appears, it's time to reflect on your reliance on sarcasm and humor to express your truth. Uh, are you using jokes to hide old resentments in relationships or to mask things that you feel uncomfortable discussing? Uh, what would happen if you took your goals seriously? When in balance, charming, witty, fun to be around. When out of balance, scrappy, uh, petty, suspicious. To bring into balance, sobriety. Hmm... So yeah, I could, um, I, I could definitely see this as a card that would make me feel uncomfortable. And in fact, the imagery does make me feel a little uncomfortable. It's, it's a bit sly in a, um, uh, uncomfortable way. <laughs> um, but there, there is an aspect of the humor and wit, of course. Um, I think what I don't like is more just the artwork on this one. I, the, the hyena, the hyena is fine, but I wish there was more color with it. And I don't know how I feel about this moon. Um, I wish it talked about, uh, this, the moon symbolism in, uh, the, uh, book, like what that could potentially represent. I mean, I think this is a last quarter moon. Maybe that's a first quarter moon. Um, I'm not sure, but it's a, it's a quarter moon, uh, first or last, uh, and, uh, not sure exactly how that's relating to the meaning of the card. So yeah, so there we go. All right. So now for the spider that's in, uh, um, earth, just past it. All right. Spider. So, creator of prosperity through life's work, Dharma. The spider is an ingenious creator. Its greatest gift is weaving the thread of Dharma into a vast, intricate web that supports the spider and those around it, both financially and spiritually. Uh, it is hard work, but the spider neither tries, uh, tires nor becomes impatient. This card reminds us creativity is everywhere. Uh, be process-oriented uh, rather than results-oriented. And soon your work becomes like the weaving of a magical priceless tapestry. Abundance flows. That may also be why I kind of like this card. Um, it kind of has that Eight of Pentacles vibe to it, uh, which Eight of Pentacles is my favorite uh, tarot card in general. Um, and I do find that that card really represents me and who I am. And a lot of that has to do with, um, this, uh, being enthralled in your craft, in your, in your art or your, what you're creating, what you're working on. Um, and I think that's really reflected here with the spider. Uh, plus I love all the color in it and I, I'm a big color kind of person. <laughs> um, so when in balance, uh, appreciative, uh, enthusiastic, enthusiastic, and prosperous, uh, went out of balance, uh, discouraged, tired, forlorn, uh, to bring into balance playful creativity. So yeah, this one makes me very happy. This card makes me very happy. So it is still <laughs> my favorite of this uh, deck. All right, so I'm gonna shuffle a couple of times and that uh, will actually be it for today. Um, yeah, so. I'm just going to do a few shuffles. So to really mix in these cards, um, to really get used to using these, I love the way these shuffle. Um, yeah. So let's do this again. 
Ooh, nice. Yeah, uh, that's definitely something I will say about this deck. It is really nice to shuffle. The cards, the the card quality is not thin, um, but uh, it's it's flexible. It's a very flexible card, which makes it easier for someone like me with very small hands to easily shuffle, to br uh, to riffle and then bridge. So there we go. All right. So that is it for today. Tomorrow, uh, which by the way, I will be recording these videos every single day, but they will be coming out twice a week. Um, so tomorrow I'll be recording, uh, reading the book in introduction and doing the first four earth cards. And we're going to really, um, uh, look through and examine those cards and I might be taking notes or something. Um, yeah, to put, basically give myself a little cheat sheet, uh, to remember each, uh, card by. All right. So thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you next time. Bye.